Okay, I have now received some eyepieces and I'm going to open it. So let's open and see. I guess it is a Teleview. Okay, now I've opened this part. Oh, this is another box inside. So I'm going to open this box also. So let's open and see what is inside. Oh, this is a big boy. Let me just take it out. Impressive. Let me remove this, put it away. Okay, this is this. Lovely. Okay, let me see. Remove this wrapping. Let's see what is written. Is it in Teleview Visionary mm -hmm. Nagler tape? Five thirty-one millimeter. So let me open and see what is inside. Okay. So what I can see here is a foam. Okay, I'll remove this. Oh wow, that's the king, king of the eyepieces. Let me put it back, the thing, and just bring it out. Ooh, wow, a whopper. Look at it. King of the eyepieces. Let me remove the... Okay, this is this eye cap. I removed. And... I remove this other one also. This is quite heavy. Uh, yes, this is a very good uh, eyepiece. So far so good, I have to test it, but I will just have a look into the window just to see how it shows against the light. Okay, so far so good. The image is not bad. Quite good actually. Good eye relief also, I can see. I have a uh, scale. Let's see how, what's the weight of this. The weight of this is 300. Oh no, that's by, uh, according to ounce. Let me just go, unit gram. Gram, 930 grams without the caps. If I add the caps here, that adds to 941 grams. So 941 grams with the caps. Okay, the 31 millimeter Nagler tape five. Uh, I'm saying why it is the um, best kink. Uh, the reason is that this is the maximum you can get uh, in the field of view, actual field of view, uh, in a 2-inch eyepiece, 2-inch barrel eyepiece. So anything bigger than that, you don't increase the actual maximum width uh, field of view, maximum width of the field of view. Uh, so this is the maximum. It gives a better contrast. I have a 40 millimeter. Uh, um, max vision, which is equal to the 41 millimeter mag, uh, panoptic, Teleview panoptic. Uh, that's a very good one. It actually knocks down the Teleview. But this one is a maximum you can get actually seeing it without losing contrast or anything. Lower magnification also means a little bit better than that. So I'm looking forward to test this. Uh, so far, so good. The lens is looking very clean. Nice, I see several ref reflections, so that shows that uh, how many lenses are there. The coating looks nice. Here, the coating looks quite uh, reddish purple. I get it against the light so it can be seen better. One thing I want to say is that the um, Teleview and many other manufacturers the rubber they use 
has a lot of electrostatic electricity with it. So it absorbs uh, dandruff, dust, anything. The one that I have seen with the Takahashi LEI pieces, they don't absorb anything, and that means they're neutral. So I wonder why they don't use that. Both of these are made in Japan. So why they don't use that, that's a mystery to me. Or is the, is the Teleview cheap skating? Uh, I think they could do better with the, this eye guard. Uh, this is a rubber one. The same rubber in the Takahashi, different material doesn't absorb so much rubbish and uh, it is, is electrically is neutral. These ones are charged. You can see it charged because they absorb any tiny particle and you cannot remove them no matter how much you hard hard you try back in the box until uh, I go for a test great office and quite expensive 450 pounds Price of the new, I think, is 700 something. Uh, if you find it, of course. The uh, view through the Teleview 31 millimeter uh, Nagler tape 5. Let's see how it looks. So, we are now going to have a look through the Teleview eyepiece. Okay, this is the through the Teleview Nagler 31 millimeter tape 5 eyepiece. Quite easy to place the camera on, I suppose that's the same for the eye. And it doesn't change anything, so it, you don't have blackouts or anything like any other eyepiece. But they may have these problems. The image is very sharp, very good, bright. It's a cloudy day, it's uh, around six, uh, half past six. And it's, it's not particularly very bright. It's relatively dark. But the image is this, so... Acceptable? Good! Excellent! And that was the view to the Teleview Nagler 31mm Tape 5 eyepiece. I may later compare it with several other 30mm to 32mm eyepieces that I have. I later compare it with the, this University Optic uh, 32 millimeter conic 2 multi coated eyepiece and see how they will look at the moment I can see that the coating is different in Teleview one is kind of reddish dark and in this one is a greenish light green to blue coating